Alright, um... So, Thank you! Good way to Bless start me. it off. Bless up. <laughs> Alright, what's going on guys? So, today I want to talk about why these things are called hoverboards and why people actually call them hoverboards even though they don't hover because they have two wheels that touch the ground so they don't actually hover. Oh my god, this is uh, such... This is crazy, autism. why do people do this? <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of people hate the fact that these things are called hoverboards because they have wheels on it. Yeah, so I, I honestly don't see why it's such a big deal, but apparently it's a huge deal to those people. So, even though the fact that they don't actually levitate off the ground, I think they're called hoverboards because the person on it looks like they're hovering if you just, like, cover up the board part. So if you look at the person, it kind of looks like they're on a hoverboard, but they're not really... Yeah, I don't think anyone calls them self-balancing electric scooters, mainly because that name is just way too long, and just isn't catchy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we did not come up with the name. People in China did. Oh. Did they? I, I have no idea it, came up Is there even a box that actually says hoverboard? No, most of them just say self-balancing electric scooter, <laughs> which is kind of surprising. So, uh, we get a lot of hate comments saying, like, these things aren't hoverboards. Oh my god, these things don't actually hover. Why do you call them hoverboards? Well, guess what? We did not invent the name, so... Guess what, fools? Guess what, fools? You mistaken. Even the media calls these things hoverboards. So if you go on the news, they call them hoverboards, not electric self-balancing scooters, which is, like, the general name that... Yeah, the, the on the box name. On the box name, yeah. Yeah, most people don't call them self-balancing electric scooters because it's just so long, not catchy at all. If you search hoverboard on Google, it just pops up with a ton of shopping links to stuff, to places where you can buy them from, where it used to just be actual hoverboards. But you can actually buy hoverboards if you search like Arca board or whatever. Those are like twenty thousand dollars. So why would you spend your money on that when you can just buy a self-balancing scooter? In 2015, when all the hoverboards came out, a ton of people wanted the Back to the Future hoverboard, even though it never came out, so they just went to hoverboards. That was the closest thing to Back to the Future at the time. A lot of famous people have the Segway, Segway, self-balanced scooter, whatever you want to call it. That's probably why they're trendy right now, because... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of people think the hoverboard name does not make any sense at all, but because hover's in the name, people don't like it because it doesn't hover. But I mean, it's just one of those names that. Like hot dog. Doesn't make sense like hot dogs. There's no dog in hot dogs. Hopefully. Hopefully, there's no dogs in hot dogs. There could be. You never know when you buy them from China, so. When you buy them from China? <laughs> So I asked you guys on Snapchat why you guys thought these were called hoverboards. Most people said they thought it was because the way the person looks while they're writing and what it feels like while you're writing it. So what do you think, Beanie Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I can understand where the hover haters are coming from. Yeah, it's a stupid name, but <laughs> hover that's what that's what people call it. So we're gonna call that too. New trend. Hashtag hover haters. Hashtag hover hate. All right. Well, that was our opinion on why it's called a hoverboard. If you have a different name for it, go comment below what you think it should be called. And go add us on Snapchat. Follow us on Instagram. Do all that good stuff. So yeah, go hit that like button. Subscribe. See you guys next time.